How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you guys a couple games of ranked seasons. In the previous upload I did uh, make a debut with Adam Wainwright. I did like how he was uh, pitching and now I'm going to be going up against him in this one. I also put Zach Greinke back into the lineup. He is going to be making his return. And uh, facing this Adam Wainwright for the first time, throws a sinker over the middle of the plate to start the game off. I power swung with my creative player. I noticed a lot of times I was hitting the ball hard with the creative player, but right to the outfielders, right to the infielders. Uh, I know with high contact and like 70, mid 70s power, that's gonna happen a lot, but uh, I'm trying to get the power up a little bit more. There, I was trying to be aggressive. I figured I would be able to steal third base with 99 speed, but uh, it kind of lagged a little bit there. I'm not sure if that slowed him down. It was tough to tell. He might have uh, got like a glitch where he slows down for a step or two, and it was a bad throw, but he it was a good throw. He was able to tag me rather quickly and uh, that really got this inning going for him. Uh, the, he came out swinging a couple base hits and a double there from Wade Boggs. He's gonna go up early in this game. So Zach Greinke not pitching the best so far, but uh, definitely had some success with this card ever since picking him up earlier on in the year. This one with the creative player, he smacks it into left field. That's gonna be a ground rule double. Ricky Anderson unable to get to that one. I'm already down four nothing in this one. And in the last upload, I really wasn't hitting all that great. So I'm trying to uh, turn things around for me. I got a, a nice situation right here where I should be able to at least score one run. I have nobody out in the inning and Ricky Henderson up. That was a hanging breaking ball. I waited on it a little bit too long and smacked into right center field, but that's gonna be deep enough to score the run. I didn't want to tag up from first, but uh, he was going back there and I pressed R1. Kind of uh, messed me up a few times so far that, throughout this year. I probably should have went to a pinch hitter in this situation. I mean, as crazy as that sounds, second inning with Granke, he already gave up four runs though, and I had a chance to tie that game up. I thought about going to a pinch runner, but it didn't work out and I struck out with them. There I was just trying to send Ichiro to second base. Obviously I was gonna be out at the plate with Ricky Henderson. I wasn't trying to go and uh, he went anyway. I pressed to the right and triangle and he they both, both of the runners went. I have no idea. But uh, the very next inning, Adam Dunn hits a three run shot and I thought this was gonna be a solo homer from Ricky Henderson. Unable to uh, get the power going, line, or flew out to the warning track there. That was more of a pop fly than a, than a line drive, but definitely hit it well. Later on in the game, I mean, my only really chance to come back here, Kenny Lofton hits into a double play. I just I couldn't get anything going at the plate in this one. Down 7-1. to one. I was still trying to make a comeback. I mean, I'm not going to quit out. It's it's a six-run lead. I hit a no-doubter with Frank Thomas in the ninth. But uh, Adam Wainwright was able to throw a complete game. And in that last one, I just got outplayed. I didn't play well at all. I didn't pitch well. I didn't hit well. I didn't score enough runs. And uh, the opponent definitely took advantage. He beat me 7-2 to two in that last one. But uh, in this next one, we are going up against the new Rick and Keel. So facing a couple of these new pitchers. And I thought that this card was going to be really good because of his high per nines. I think because I lost the, the last couple of the, the games I played, I think I'm going up against somebody that could be in wild card now because I dropped down to about 730. And uh, now that I have that rating, I do have a better chance to play somebody at like 690, 680 something. So this game might be on all-star. And I thought it was after this ball was sent out for a home run. But it uh, doesn't matter, both the opponent and I are playing on the same difficulty, so I know that he's also going to be able to hit as well. And uh, I don't know what it is, but I wasn't pitching as well as Zach Greinke in this game. But Greinke is making his return to the team, and to be honest, I really haven't been pitching well with a lot of my starting pitchers. I mean, Kershaw and Nolan Ryan have really been the only two guys that I've been uh, able to pitch with successfully almost every time they take the mound, regardless of what difficulty it is. But uh, I don't know what happened with Tony Gwynn out there. I tried to get behind that baseball. I knew he was gonna tag up with Willie Mays. I pretty much got the job done anyway. I got the out, and uh, he did go ahead and tag up. But uh, I was able to keep him from scoring. He does go ahead and tag up anyway. Uh, this is a really strange play. I wanted to run right at his base runner with Johnny Bench, and he runs towards the pitcher's mound when he tries to fake throw it. He's able to score a run there, so it's two to one. I am now looking to score as many runs as possible. I power swung with Ricky Henderson. I'm trying to get that run back that I didn't think the opponent deserved, but also uh, tack on a couple other runs as well for insurance. I, uh, I felt like I was gonna be able to hit the baseball against this Rick and Keel. Some of the pitches that he was throwing didn't look like they had the best feedback on him. And what I mean by that is because of his control attribute and his walks per nine, some of these pitches were right over the middle of the plate. I was missing a few of them and uh, still hitting the ball for a couple base hits. I mean, I got one with Granke the other way with my creative player the other way right there. I was able to get that run back, so that's important. It's a three to one game now, and 
There he has his created player, 99 speed. I wasn't trying to flip that to uh, Zach Greinke, but he didn't get there in time. I wanted to just run over to first with Frank Thomas. Sometimes that happens with the first baseman, though. If you press circle, then he throws it instead of just running over to touch the base. Uh, but the opponent takes advantage. I went to a slide step fastball. He hits it out with Javi Baez, ties the game up. And then with Rick Ankeel, he goes deep. So the last thing I want to happen is to give up a home run to the pitcher. That is the best hitting pitcher in the game, and he does take the lead with Rick Ankeel. But uh, I'm looking to try and get the run back. I lined out a couple times in that inning, but I did include the one from George Brett. That George Brett has hit the ball pretty good for me, but I uh, haven't really hit any home runs or extra base hits with them. Just a lot of hard base hits. There with Ricky Henderson, I power swung on that up and in fastball, hit it out for a no doubter. Now we have Ichiro up, and I'm just con looking to continue the rally. I mean, a blue base hit in the center field, that was kind of a late hit. Uh, definitely off the handle of the bat as well, but it does flare in to center field, and I was able to steal second with Ichiro. Uh, Ricky and Kiel has a little bit slower of a motion to the plate, and I uh, got thrown out in the previous game. Adam Wainwright has a little bit of a quicker motion to the plate. That's something that I noticed. But um, with Tony Gwynn up, I squared this one up after scoring a run. And uh, right to the center field, Willie Mays is able to make the play. But in the next inning, up 5-4 to four with Roberto Alomar, I'm able to shoot one into the gap, the opposite field. That's going to be an extra base hit. I thought about going for three on this one, but he does have Tony Gwynn out there in center field. I think I would have been thrown out. And it's best to just stay at second base. But... Uh, Later in the inning, he went ahead and brought his outfielders in. So I power swung with Rick Anderson, trying to hit the ball over his outfielders' heads. And I was able to do so. That is going to be a triple because of the fact that his outfield was playing in. And that's going to score both runs there. Going up 7-4 to four with uh, Johnny Bench up at the plate. And I missed that one. I was definitely under it. He smacks it out to center field. I thought it was going to be off the wall, and it hits off the top of the center field wall at Chase Field, and Willie Mays isn't able to make the play. Tony Gwynn comes all the way out from right field to throw it in, and uh, Johnny Bench gets a triple there. The opponent did quit out of that one, and now it will get into the last gameplay of this video. Uh, this opponent has more of a budget team, a couple live series hitters in there. Justin Turner just recently got a downgrade to a gold. He also has Corey Seager. And it is also a Clayton Kershaw and Nolan Ryan matchup, which you don't really see that often because most people have Clayton Kershaw as their number one as their ace as well, and then Nolan Ryan is their number two. But this opponent might have had those flip-flops. But to start this game off, he was hitting a double with Jose Altuve. He drew a walk with Frank Thomas and went to a pinch hitter in Ronald Acuna for Cody Bellinger. Definitely a good move there. I hung that slider over the middle of the plate, but uh, he hit it right to Roberto Alomar. I was able to make the play. Start this next inning off with a one-out double from Tony Gwynn. I got out with my creative player once again, but uh, hit that change up low in the zone on a 3-2 and two count. I really wanted to try and be more patient at the plate facing Nolan Ryan. I did think that this game was on all-star difficulty, though, because the PCI was a little bit bigger than what I'm used to seeing against Nolan Ryan. Roberto Alomar is sending that one into the gap. That was a fastball on a 1-0 count over the middle of the plate. That's something that I'm looking for early on in the count, uh, something that I can drive. I was lining out a lot with Roberto Alomar in a couple previous games, so that was nice to see some power off the wall there. And uh, Ricky Henderson also with a no-doubter on a fastball in. That's exactly where I was sitting. He threw it right to the PCI pretty much and uh, hit it out for a no-doubter, regular X swing. But uh, this opponent definitely had some pitches to hit. I threw that hanging curveball over the middle of the plate. Justin Turner uh, hit it right to the shortstop. With Johnny Bench, he hits one that could have been a base hit. I was able to take that one away from him. Uh, playing some decent defense. I have only made like one error on the season, and that was in the previous game. This play was really strange. I noticed as soon as Justin Turner was running around in circles like that, where he's kind of back and forth, not locking onto the ball, that uh, Kershaw was going to get on base there. It hits him in the head or hits him in the chest. Kershaw gets first. He threw a wild pitch. Kershaw advanced to second, and uh, Pablo Sanchez drew a walk. I was able to line one with Tony Gwynn to uh, right to the second baseman. Unfortunate, but I hit the ball hard. Another walk from Roberto Alomar, bringing up. Frank Thomas, and I'm really looking for a pitch over the middle. With the base is loaded and one out, I want at least a sack fly. I figured he would throw something up and inside. There he went with the fastball up in the zone. I didn't think he would be trying to attack the plate all that much. He throws another changeup over the middle, and Frank Thomas hits a grand slam. He went ahead and dashboarded out of that one. Uh, definitely a good game. I was finally able to get the bats going a little bit towards the end of this 
video, but uh, moved back up to around 773, right around where I started today's uh, ranked season's grind. But thank you guys for watching. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.